this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AC Consulting. Let's take a look at what's new today in TD Snap. There was a release um, today in the App Store, and I looked at the release notes, I tapped on the little light bulb, but I always additionally go out here to the full release notes to get a bit more information. The things that caught my eye as being interesting to check out are the books and photo albums and the acapella vocal smileys that have both been added to the dashboard area when setting up a new user in USA English or first. And then the default font size being uh, larger now for keys on the keyboard page. And they also mentioned adding an enter key. Um, and so I went over and installed a brand new user so I could see what a fresh install looks like and went over to the dashboard and to books and photos and here's what these look like. The book sample. So just a nice short book. And this is just an example, and then they give you templates to build your own. And then tap there to go back, and then there's one with photos. And so these are not the same as the Core First books. This is giving you templates to build your own books right here within the app. So there's book one, book two, so you have room here for adding 10 books of your own. And if you already have a user and you want to add these new things to an existing one, go out and log in to Page Set Central and you'll see this Books and Photo Albums. Tap on Add to My Stuff. And while you're out there, go ahead and also grab the Acapella Vocal Smiley's demo. Tap Add to My Stuff. And I also got the Acapella Vocal Smiley's Complete Lists and Add to My Stuff. And what that looks like, back over in the dashboard, Acapella Vocal Smiley's demo page. <coughs> And it'll tell you here that the full list is out on the acapella site. But what caught my eye was that full list. So I'm going to import that here. I'm going to link, import from my Toby Dynavox. Acapella Vocal Smiley's Complete List. And there are exclamations and sound effects. So I'm going to do the exclamations first. And then I'm going to go back and do another one to get those sound effects. So link import and link from my Toby Dynavox, Vocal Smiley's complete list, and this time I'm going to tap on sound effects. Done. And done. And what that will do is take you over for these lists that you then could copy and paste. So you'll see there's more. There's a lot. Some, a lot, a lot of these did not work with the Ella voice that I'm using. So uh, they're voice specific. They're also language specific. Um, but yeah, there's a lot you could take a look at um, here. Done. Back and then sound effects. So it was, I thought it was quite handy to have that right there within um, the app. 
and an easy spot to have that added is right there within your dashboard. Um, okay, but what about adding these things to an existing user? Because this is the page that I'm using the most. I have my Rotor Plan 66, and then in my dashboard area, you see me demo before all these different things I've added to it. Um, this is my spot to add things to motor plan without disturbing the motor plan. Um, so what I did today is I imported that books and photos right here. So I'm going to go into edit mode. And you'll see that's linked to books and photos. And I imported that from Page Set Central. I also imported this acapella... Vocal Smiley's demo page. And so let me tap there. And to that, then I imported the exclamations and the sound effects. So I could have all of this uh, right here. In particular, um, these would be easy then to copy and paste um, wherever I might actually be using them here and I'll show you under quick fires I already have a whole page of vocal smileys that I use with the Ella voice good morning so I have already have quite a few but I may add more um, as I explore uh, those full lists. So I thought you might find this helpful to see what's new and that you have a way to import and add it to an existing user.